With that background and that context, um, we have assembled a panel today to talk a bit about what um, the United States is doing in particular, and also take a bit of an international perspective on that as well. Particularly, um, I find it fascinating um, the, the process that has happened at the GFFA and wanted to see if there was a way that we could expand that dialogue and include a little bit about what's happening here in the United States as well. We have just the panel to do that. And I'm delighted that uh, Mr. Vacker will be um, available during our Q&A as well. So for the panel format, I'd just like to share that we've asked our panelists to be very brief um, so that we maximize the amount of time for our conversation and dialogue with both you here in the, in the room as well as the folks that we have online listening. And um, Mr. Rocker will join us for that Q&A. Our first panelist, I'm going to introduce all four of them, but our first panelist today is Ms. Karen Scanlon. Karen is Vice President of Sustainability Partnerships at the, U at the Innovation Center for U.S. Dairy. She is responsible for driving adoption of common indicators and metrics to measure dairy sustainability progress, managing the Dairy Sustainability Alliance to facilitate value chain engagement, publishing the sustainability report, and coordinating the annual Dairy Sustainability Awards. This woman's all about sustainability. So thank you, Karen, very much for joining us. Great. Thank you, Constance. Appreciate the opportunity to, to be here. And um, my goal for my very limited time, I'm glad the clock hasn't started. Oh, there it goes. Uh, that uh, I'm going to share with you just a snap snapshot of the U.S. dairy community's sustainability journey. And I wanted to start with this perspective that there is a study in 2007 by Cornell that showed the dairy community's reduction in carbon land and water footprints from 1944 to 2007. And much of that progress was made during a time when we really weren't talking about sustainability, but farmers were making smart business decisions and production changes to increase efficiencies. Uh, and 2007 is an important date as well because that's when uh, the dairy farmer leaders developed and created their commitment to sustainability. So they started to define that and in 2008 developed these principles for sustainability commitment. So I want you to notice that within this commitment we have care for cows, for community, for consumers, for employees, for the planet, and for their businesses. So a very comprehensive view of and commitment to sustainability. And uh, in 2008 as well is when farmers, dairy farmers, had the vision and foresight to realize that this is a, it's a very impressive commitment that they alone couldn't address on behalf of all of dairy. So they invited uh, dairy cooperatives, processors, and even dairy retailers that sold dairy products to join together as the Innovation Center for U.S. Dairy. And it's really a, a forum for collective efforts around issues that impact all of dairy. So these pre-competitive ways to leverage expertise and resources to address issues that impact the entire industry. And then in 2009, um, the Innovation Center on behalf of dairy stated a very public goal to reduce greenhouse gas emissions 25 percent by the year 2020 and undertook a life cycle assessment for dairy, for U.S. dairy, um, the first life cycle assessment for livestock. And um, when the U.N., when FAO developed its LCA for global dairy, it used a methodology very similar to what the U.S. had developed. So when the Innovation Center was originally formed, it was focus, focused around environmental stewardship. Um, but that since then, the, uh, the focus has really broadened and we have more of a social responsibility focus that encompasses the, uh, the comprehensiveness of that sustainability commitment. And uh, we're two years in today, two years into a formal strategic plan. And uh, within that strategic plan, we've identified some priority areas to focus, to focus our work. Um, sustainable nutrition, environmental stewardship, animal care, food safety, and people and community. And so, so how do we approach those areas? What does that look like? Well, through the Innovation Center that you see here, we have CEOs and chairmen of these organizations and companies who are driving that industry alignment on these priority areas. 
and setting out strategies and, and how we can address those priority areas and where we want to go in terms of improvement and meeting our sustainability commitment. We're recognizing also that while we have industry alignment, we also need input and engagement from the entire dairy value chain. And so we strive for that through this. This is our Dairy Sustainability Alliance. And the alliance includes farmers who are growing dairy feed and the input suppliers to grow those, to grow those crops, all the way to um, public entities, uh, research institutions, environmental and conservation NGOs, and health and wellness associations. So we're look, really looking for that active engagement of the full value chain. And we published a report pretty regularly. Every year or every other year, we publish a sustainability report to share our progress. And we celebrate successes through our Dairy uh, Sustainability Awards, which are uh, awarded annually. But how are we actually measuring our progress? And so that is through our stewardship and sustainability framework, which is building a voluntary, industry-aligned way to measure, track, and report on progress for sustainability at the field level, where dairy feed is grown, at the dairy farm, and at the proce processing plants. So we have a common way to measure and talk about sustainability progress. And to have a really credible platform, we knew we had to align with a lot of global standards and tools. So some of those are reflected here, aligning with ICL and Global Reporting Initiative, um, many of the national programs, as well as uh, going for the CDP uh, alignment this year. So really focused on broad, industry-wide adoption of this common set of metrics to talk about sustainability and our progress. And so as I mentioned, this is our national approach for U.S. dairy. We have this framework to measure and track and report on our progress. And that is part of we're reporting up into the global dairy sustainability framework represented by the blue um, boxes in the middle. And that is a global platform that aligns or tracks the sustainability activity internationally and strives for a common message or a common way to talk about that sustainability commitment and push for progress. And the DSF criteria are aligned directly to or mapped to the sustainable development goals. So I hope, you know, I want you to take away from this snapshot that uh, not only is the U.S. dairy committed to producing nutritious products uh, in a safe and, new and responsible way, but we're also uh, trying to advance sustainable nutrition and helping to achieve those sustainable development goals. Thank you.